In the kitchen this morning is brought to you by one of our favorites, Parma Ristorante. And with us is Chef David Ashworth. Now, you are our roadie deal of the day. Yes. I believe there maybe is only one left. So if you go on really quick, you might be able to snag that one last one. Better hurry up. So you're going to be able to get your $50 gift card for $25. That's half off. A fantastic deal. And you have brought the goods today, Chef. Yes, I brought the show. Yeah, I, I mean, look at all yeah. of this. We were just talking off camera about all of the different foods right now and how, you know, there's the, the shortages and everything yeah. else. But there is no shortage here this morning. No, there's no shortage on the food. Food items that you it's, have brought. Uh, we're lucky. Italian food is a lot of fresh food, a lot of uh, fresh vegetables and stuff you got to work with. Yes, prices are through the roof, whether it's meat, seafood, forget it. It's not even, it's not good. So but we are making something today yeah, that's a so little bit more economical. Yes, absolutely. So we'll make a tricolored tortellini carbonara. It's a nice light dish, very Italian, but it also is all cheap. It's it's basically yeah, a, let's a talk kitchen about, sink. Yeah, let's so talk about it. we're going to render off some nice uh, crispy uh, applewood mm, bacon. Looks good. English green peas. We got some fresh egg to uh, toss in at the end. Some spices, some grated cheese, uh, fresh tread color tortellini. It's a it's a very nice light dish, but it's, it's tasty. Very, I'm excited very tasty. to see Brendan will be with you when you guys put this together later on in the show. But I'm excited to see you put the carbonara together because I love carbonara. But there is a, a kind of a special way to do it with yes. the eggs. Yeah, right? eggs. Yeah, because it's if you a just, little more intricate yeah, than maybe some people might know. You got to toss it in know. slow and like almost drizzle it like honey when you toss it. If that's a trick to the yeah. train, you don't pour honey and you drizzle it yep. so because if you pour the egg it scrambles okay so, so we are going is. to show you how to do that a Absolutely. little bit later in the show so you're going to want to stick around but for now we're going to send it back over to brendan i don't know how we follow that i know just how we can do it with one of our favorites chef david ashworth from parma is here good morning once again my friend good morning and how are you i am great so nice to see you well i'm great now that you're here of course he has been preparing the tri-colored tortellini Carbonara. Wait, you nailed it. Yeah, <laughs> nailed it. Usually we joke That's around, but I got yeah, to we gotta spell it how we want to talk about it. <laughs> it might not come and look right, but it sounds right. And it, it smells good. It sounds right. It looks spectacular, and it smells awesome as well. You've been hard at work. We'll get to everything else you brought because you always uh, dazzle our senses every time you're yeah. here. But talk about what you've we been doing. We're bring the show. It's your birthday. It's the end. This is the final stop. I, and this to, is the to the viewers. I apologize. It's been a lot of Brendan celebrations yeah. this week. So week Thank party. You. you deserve it. Thanks, buddy. Um, now that we've rendered the bacon, yep. added the peas, you then add a little chicken stock and then the white wine. And when we use that, it's more or less to glaze the pan. Because what you're doing is you're rendering bacon, which kind of crisps to the bottom of the pan and where the flavor is. Right. So at that point, that releases all your flavor in your pan to help you. You get a little sweetness in the sugars from the wine. Right. Then you add your little bit of cream and your chicken stock to make it a little brothy. And this is what I like to say because I have very little to add to the kitchen segments because I'm such a novice of the kitchen. But you work all the all you, you work around. all the ingredients together, and this is where you're going to help me right now. Oh boy, look out! You put a nice handful of grated cheese. Okay. Because with carbonara, at the step of when you put an egg in, it's either going to scramble or you can mix it in good. Okay. So it's almost like you're tempering it in. So as I was telling the young lady earlier, when you play with this, the trick to this, drizzle it like honey. Ah. So you're pouring it in slowly because the faster you do it, you won't be able to stir it as fast as it almost scrambles. It, you don't want it all in one spot. Yeah, either. it'll, it'll like, almost look like that fried rice egg. Okay. It'll be chunky. And this will actually incorporate into the sauce and make it more rich and... It's a whole other thing. Is that so why I'm here to add? That's it. it. Yeah, you're gonna slowly <laughs> pour this egg in. All right. We're gonna go you with. Tell me just when. A, go for it. Let's. Oh, it's let's hot. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? You won't do that again. No, I'm only kidding. So, does it need to be high? Low? No, you can go right there and just right. go a little throw, and I'll keep stirring it in. All right. Is this okay? Perfect. Oh God. See. <laughs> yeah. No. Nope. It's like I'm it. on the free fall at Rocky Point. There we yep. go. All, All right. right though. So, All right. I'm punching out. So <laughs> now, as you see it. It's starting to make a sauce, Looks and it's cool. starting to incorporate. It's not scrambling. It's not doing anything. So that way, it coats the pasta. It's because you're using a lot of broths and a little bit of light liquid. So putting all this together, now you have a nice coating pasta. Tremendous. Oh, I forgot to say at first. Can someone please tell Will to make sure he puts some sunscreen on that forehead? Yeah. Rocky <laughs> Point looks like it's getting a little uh, red up top. But back to carbonara. So at this point, you then add a little more grated cheese. It looks Because awesome. now you want to finish getting the sauce all together because it's a very good coating pasta. And David, I know you're hard at work here, but I know you can multitask. While you do this, remind everyone, of course, where Palmer is located, what we need to know. Yes, uh, we're located in Smithfield, uh, right on Route 44, Putnam Pike, and uh, right off 295, I think it's 12B. 
Uh, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, uh, 3 to 9, and 3 to 10 on the weekends. Uh, we do catering. We have a wonderful outdoor seating patio set up. Happy hour during happy, happy hour. Oh, I like that. Happy hour during and the week. You brought some other selections as well from the menu, and just you really can please any palate, as I like. To yeah, say. I mean, we always bring. I would know fried meatballs and stuff like that, so I bring that down so you guys can have your wonderful lunch and a little bag plant roll teeny, some carbonara to look to at hit this. the lunch. I mean, just sit back, relax. And there was no line. This is like a ride at Rocky Point right now as we take the people down here. It's like we're just cruising the old flume and just enjoying. That's what it. it Waiting for the splash. Exactly, and you. You can't go wrong with any of these dishes no, right here. No, so it's all true flavor. The one at hand here, the tortellini carbonara, looks spectacular. So and there it is. It's so, that easy. It's that easy, guys. I just stand back and let the man dazzle us. And then what happens is, is that obviously with with the way the world is right now, with everything being so expensive, this is actually a dish that's very cheap. Great. Very economical. And it's everything's in your kitchen. And as you can see right here, you've made just enough for me. Just for you. <laughs> Absolutely. This is the man, Chef David Ashworth from Parma. Always great to see you. Always a pleasure, Thanks pal. for being here. To get the recipe and to learn more all about these guys, we'll have it at Roadshow.com.